The cult classic The Nightmare Before Christmas took three years of painstaking work to make, requiring over 60 different character models, over 200 movie sets, and 400 heads to create Jack Skellington's facial animations. Stick around to hear about these behind-the-scenes secrets and more as we take a look at 10 fun facts about how The Nightmare Before Christmas was made. Tim Burton didn't direct The Nightmare Before Christmas, but he came up with the characters and the story. Years earlier, he had sketched dozens of the movie's characters and came up with a basic story idea. But beyond that, he and Nightmare's other filmmakers fleshed out the story by using Burton's artwork as inspiration to write the screenplay. The answer is right in front of me! Right in front of me! The songs needed to be finished early on to give the animators something to work with. But Danny Elfman was brought on board to compose the music when there was still only a basic idea of the story. They were running out of time before filming needed to begin, so Elfman had Tim Burton explain to him one scene at a time over several days. After each discussion, Elfman would go home and write a song for the scene. To recite Shakespearean quotations. Then he'd play it at their next meeting, Burton would usually say he liked it, and then they'd discuss the next scene and the next until all the music was finished. You're joking! You're joking! I can't believe my eyes! The movie had at least 60 individual characters, and each character had three duplicates with unique functions. So in total, there were about 180 puppets made for the film. To make Jack talk and show emotion, they created hand-sculpted heads saying the vowels A-E-I-O-U in several emotional states. And it took 400 different heads in order for the animators to be able to perform all of Jack's lines and emotions for the movie. Eureka! To create Sally's facial animations, her whole head couldn't be replaced, because she had hair that needed to be animated too. So instead, her mouth and facial expressions were painted on masks. There was so much work involved to film the movie that 15 animators and 8 film crews were working simultaneously inside 20 sound stages filled with 230 sets, some of which were as big as 24 feet long. The stop-motion animators requested the sets be built so they could be within a 2.5 foot reach of the puppets, to make their workflow more convenient. Not all areas of the sets could be built to accommodate that distance, so in those cases, trap doors were installed in the middle of the set instead. Nightmare was shot at 24 frames per second, which meant the characters had to be photographed 24 times for every second of film to make them move in a smooth and natural way. It took one week to finish one minute of the movie, so the movie's 76 minute runtime represents 76 weeks, or about a year and a half, of filming. The movie was in development for three years though, so what that 76 minutes doesn't represent are the reshoots that had to be done along the way. For example, a major setback with stop motion animation is that something could get bumped accidentally without anyone noticing until they stop to watch their work at full speed and notice a sudden jerk from either the camera, the lighting, or a character's movement. Fixing a continuity issue like this isn't like hand-drawn animation, where they could go back and tweak a single frame. Using stop-motion animation meant that if a continuity mistake was found, they had to go back to the beginning of the shot and animate it all over again. Hand-drawn animations were also in the movie using a process called rotoscoping. For example, you can see a shot of some hand-drawn ghosts carrying some live-action packages. To do this, the packages were flown through the scene on the strings first. Then they were traced one frame at a time, and the ghosts were hand-drawn around the packages. Then the ghosts and the packages were composited together to make the final product. Click the like button if you enjoyed the video, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to learn more fun facts about your favorite films.